here is that large violent tornado on the ground that is heading across as we speak. And there's a major train here. It's fairly sweet by this thing saying it's walking the southbound lane. It's catastrophic now. We now have a tornado warning with a catastrophic tag. That is the highest tag it can have. A tornado emergency means it's a large violent tornado. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Tornadoes are just a part of life if you live in the southeastern part of the United States, along with many other areas. Unfortunately, it's just something we have to deal with all too frequently. So one of the things I rely on are HT radios for weather alerts. Now, they're not the same as the weather alert radios that you might already have in your home. Uh, and let me explain the difference to it. And then we're going to count down what I think are the top five radios for weather alerts. And I'll show you kind of some um, pros and cons of each of those. So the weather alert radio that you have in your home can probably be programmed with something called a SAME code. That's S-A-M-E. And that SAME code basically is a filter that limits the alerts that that radio is going to set off, meaning that though they have to be that warning has to be close enough to you before that weather radio that you have in your home is going to go off. Now, HT radios like this FT60, well, they can't accept those same codes. Now, that might be an advantage, uh, and I'll kind of tell you how I utilize that. Uh, for instance. If we're going to have a day of weather where we're expecting a lot of outbreaks, I like to go ahead and turn these on and put them in that weather alert mode. Even though it's going to give me or it's going to go off more often uh, with alerts that really don't impact me immediately, it's going to give me a heads up that the weather has started and is beginning to move into my area. So that's where I think these are really, really handy. They're also handy if you're out and about, maybe you're hiking or you're RVing or uh, some outdoor activity where you don't have that same weather radio that you have at home with you. Uh, these are very easy and lightweight to pack around and give us the capability of getting that weather data and those weather alerts delivered right to us. Well, during this recent weather outbreak that we had here in Middle Tennessee, I was able to test five different radios for what the weather alert sounds like on each of them and kind of uh, some of the pros and cons of each of them. So we're actually going to start with this FT60, and this is actually my least favorite radio to use for weather alerts. I love the FT60, but this is just one place that I think it falls short. And the reason being is the volume of the weather alert is dependent on the volume that you have set on the radio. Now, that's not going to be the case for the other four radios that we will be looking at, but it is the case on this one. Now, I will warn you now before we start uh, listening to these radios, when you see the video cut to one of the radios, you might want to adjust the volume. Uh, these could get a little loud coming through the speakers or your headphones, whichever way you happen to be watching this video. But let's go ahead and take a look at this FT60 in action, and you'll see what I mean uh, with the volume not coming out, or, or it's dependent on what you have the radio set to. Hazard, 60 miles per hour, wind gusts and quarter size hail. Now, as long as you remember to turn the volume up on that radio, then it's probably not going to be an issue. But that's just something that uh, is prone to user error if you forget to turn the volume up loud enough to be able to hear that alert. I prefer a radio that's going to go full volume as soon as it hears one of the alert tones coming over the NOAA weather radio stations. Now, the FT-70 
is a much better in the fact that it will go full volume on the alert. However, the reason I've ranked the FT-70 so far down the list at number four is because its user interface to get to the weather channels is just a little wonky. Basically, you have to start a scan. Well, you have to turn on the weather alert feature. And then you have to start a scan with the radio and wait for it to get to the uh, weather frequencies in there. There's no shortcut just to jump right to the weather frequencies that I've been able to locate reading through the user manual. Once you locate those, you can isolate that weather bank and just have the radio scan the weather frequencies instead of scanning all of your memory banks in addition to the weather frequencies. So if we want to isolate that, it's just a little bit more cumbersome. And the reason I rank the FT-70 at number four. Let's go ahead and listen to the way that FT-70 sounds with a weather alert. All right, coming in at number three is the Kenwood D75. Now, again, this one will go full volume with the alert. However, what I don't like about it is the D75 gives you just a very, very short alert, and then it starts playing the audio from the NOAA weather radio frequency. I like some of the others, especially uh, number one and number two on my list here, because they keep playing that alert until you dismiss it. Let's go ahead and listen to that D75 giving its alert and then going ahead and swapping over to the NOAA weather radio frequency. All right, coming in at number two on the list is the Yezu FT-5. This and the number one pick on this list are my two favorites. And these are the radios that I'm going to grab if I think there's going to be a outbreak of weather in our area on any particular day. The FT-5 gives us a constant alert until we dismiss it. It plays that at full volume and... It reduces the volume when we swap back over to listen to the actual alert coming from the NOAA weather radio. Some county in Middle Tennessee until 5.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Coming in at number one is the Yezu VX6. This radio is absolutely fabulous for weather alerts. A, it's easy to get into the weather bands and it has a seriously loud alert when it hears that tone coming from NOAA. Let's go ahead and take a listen to that now. What do you guys think? Did I get the order right? Do you prefer one of these over the other? Leave it down in the comments below. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.